Welcome to another video from Irwindale Public Library where we will show you how to do two fun rainbow activities, a traveling rainbow and bubble art. And we'll start with our traveling rainbow. Here is our list of supplies and just want to emphasize that you need to use washable markers. First, let's see our experiment in action. And now we'll make it. So here I have my paper towel. I'm using a two layer paper towel. If it's one layer, you can fold it over, measure about seven inches and then cut it out. And I'm just trimming the end here to make it nice and straight. And then we're taking our washable marker and we're just drawing our squares. So again, it does have to be washable. It needs to say washable on it. It won't work with any other type of marker. I don't have that many colors, so I'm just using what I have and I'm using my dark colors and I'm drawing my little squares of colors color in very well and then I'm going to repeat the same pattern on the other side. And here I've got my two cups of water filled up not quite all the way, maybe about three quarters of the way and then just kind of push them apart a little bit and go ahead and put your paper towel inside and watch what happens. I've speeded up the process here, it will take about a few minutes for it to travel but you can see all of your colors merge together. And here are how these cups look at the end with all the blended colors. So for this activity, there is a little bit of science behind it known as chromatography, which is how chemicals are able to separate. So our washable markers are water-based and they're reacting to the water and they're able to move up the arch of the paper towel. Because the water-based chemicals in the marker are easy to spread when combined with the water, but if we tried to use a permanent marker or any other type of marker, this wouldn't work the same way. Now let's do our colorful bubble art activity. So here's the list of supplies you will need, and if you don't have any bubble solution at home, you can also make your own if you find a recipe online. Here's the bubble art we made, and let's show you how to make it. I have four cups, and I'm just going to pour some bubble solution in each of them. And this is some pre-made bubble solution, and then I'm going to add some food coloring into each of them, and then just shake it up or mix up the colors. Take your straw and put it in the cup, and then blow through the straw to create some bubbles. Take your piece of paper, lay it down on top, and then there you go, you have a bubble. And just keep repeating this process and just keep putting bubbles on your paper and change the colors as you keep going. Just blow through the straw and you can create some nice art here. Unfortunately, my cup actually broke and spilled all over. So I'm gonna be creative here and we're gonna cut out that part and we are going to make a little cloud shape. So here's the little cloud that I made and let's just glue it to some paper. And there we go, here's some bubble art. It's very unique looking, pretty and colorful. And that's it. We hope you can try these activities at home and have some fun making them. Thanks for watching.